an Orpeth charity who was told Look North children in our region could die this winter as families face the choice between freezing or starving. A report by National Energy Action is warning of a significant humanitarian crisis for children living in households with little or no heating. The stop warning comes as another charity which provides food parcels for vulnerable people has increased the amount of non-cook items it offers because users say they can't afford to heat basic meals. Megan Patterson reports. A charity set up to help families at Christmas working all year round, fighting to meet demand. We expect the charity to grow and we expect demand to increase, but 52% is an awful lot. That's combined with the perfect storm of donations going down so that the, the gap in the middle is widening between what's needed and what we've actually got to give. Boxes distributed by hospitals and charities, since energy prices increased, there's been a surge in requests for items that cost less to prepare. The fruit here, which could be eaten um, directly without being in the fridge or cooked. You have anything we've got a kettle, you've got some noodles there. We've put individual uh, soups in so you can use them as a kettle again. And we've got biscuits there and mug shots. When it went out as a, a pilot initially, it was probably about 20 boxes every couple of months. Um, at the minute, we're looking at 280 boxes every month. We're trying as best to make it so that it's, it's edible as it is at room temperature, or it's something that you can just use a kettle with. We're trying to make sure you've got something between any support you may have from outside agencies. The charity is fundraising and applying for grants to try and increase revenue to keep these boxes filled. Concern about the winter months stacking up. My worry is that people can't cook a, a hot meal, that even warming something up is a stress and a worry uh, to a lot of people. We've never had to take into account before that people couldn't heat it up, couldn't cook it. 9,000 families were helped last Christmas alone. This year, the number likely to be much higher, with what people can afford to cook changing to. Megan Patterson, BBC Look North, Bladen.